A very good morning to all the students of class 6. Today we shall be studying the third chapter from your English 2 Engine Trouble. This story is written by R.K. Narayan who was an Indian writer known for his works set in the fictional South Indian town of Malguri. Engine Trouble was a masterpiece of him. When does a price become a headache? For the narrator of our story, Engine Trouble almost immediately. The narrator of the story gives a description of the trouble that an engine caused to him. An event organizer called Gaty Land visited the town of the narrator. It showed some wonderful feats. The visitors could watch anything from performing parrots to crack motorcyclists looping loop in the doom of death. There was a lottery show too. On one evening, they declared that the narrator had become the owner of a road engine. The trouble began when the showman left the place. Narrator was notified by the municipality to shift the engine very soon or to pay the monthly rent of rupees 10. He paid rupees 30 for the next three months and tried his best to sell it. By that time, the municipality was pressing the narrator to take it away. He approached everybody for help, but without result. At last, the priest of the local temple offered the narrator the service of his temple elephant. He engaged 50 coolies to push the engine from behind. He also hired Joseph, a dismissed bus driver, to drive. But the result was disappointing. The elephant dragged it and the hired coolies pushed whimsically resulting in breaking a brick wall, diverting its possible route. The police came and arrested the narrator. When the narrator was released from lockup, he had to face a kind of mess. He came to know that he would have to spend expenditure to repair the damaged wall to pay the coolies and Joseph. The narrator was also at a loss as what to do. Then an earthquake came to his rescue. His engine fell into a deserted well nearby with its back up. He feared that he might have to clear the well, but the owner of the well thanked him. The municipality had sent him a notice to close it for its dirty water. The road engine fitted like a cork and served the well owner's purpose. In return, the owner of the well promised to withdraw all the complaints against him and pay all his expenses. With this, we come to the end of the chapter. So I would request all the students to read the chapter on your own. Now there are some questions which you can do it at home. You can copy these questions in your copies and do it. And for the rest of the assignments, you will be made known through the WhatsApp. Stay home. Stay safe. Have a nice day. Thank you.